Hello and welcome to the latest episode of MEP Engineered Online, where we speak to the top contractors, consultants, suppliers, and stakeholders involved in the MEP and HVAC sectors within the construction industry. I'm Anup Uman, and I've taken over as the editor of MEP Middle East. Joining me today is Ehab Nabulsi, the head of the mechanical department at Dar al Umran, a group of building and infrastructure consultants specialized in planning, architecture, engineering, design, technical supervision, construction management, wastewater management, water supply, and more. Dar al Umran was involved in the wonderful new landmark in Sharjah the Korfu Khan Amphitheater, as well as the recent construction of three hospitals in Jordan. To start off, welcome to the show, Ihab. I hope all's well at your end. Hello, how are you? I'm good, Ihab, thanks for asking. Ihab, could you share an overview of your involvement in the Jordan Hospital projects? Have MEP-related works finished on the project and could you share a little bit more about what you have done there? Uh, thank you very much. Uh, uh, actually, uh, we almost finished uh, and uh, executed uh, uh, around three uh, healthcare uh, uh, facilities in the past three years uh, uh, from now. Uh, these uh, hospitals uh, or, and healthcare facilities are uh, located in Amman, or uh, the capital of Jordan. Uh, the hospitals are the Abdali Medical Center. This hospital, what we want to talk about uh, today is the Abdali Medical Center, uh, al Kendi Hospital, and uh, the Al-Bashir em uh, New Emergency uh, uh, Hospital. Uh, these projects uh, are considered uh, as a landmark here in Amman, especially the Abdali Medical Center. The Abdel Medical Center is uh, actually a tower uh, building consists of around 30 floors of around the area about uh, 90,000 square meter. Uh, Al Kindi about uh, 35,000 uh, square meter. And Al Bashir, uh, let's talk about 20,000 uh, uh, square meter. Uh, our scope of work in this uh, project are, of course, to design the MAP services, uh, design and supervision, or design and, uh, and build. Uh, Al-Kindi and uh, Al-Bashir, our scope is design and supervision uh, and handing over the project to the client. While uh, al Abdali Medical Center, our scope is design built. So we, uh, so uh, uh, the design intent was prepared by ACOM and we continue the design development and support, uh, of course, the, con the contractor during the construction and handing over the project. This is our scope uh, in the, our scope in these uh, three projects. Of course, the, our MEP design uh, based on uh, uh, main characteristics, uh, which are the uh, depend on the uh, latest using latest technology. Uh, at the first, uh, of course, providing uh, health uh, environment, safe environment also, and uh, uh, we can say using sustainability uh, in the design, such as using a uh, high COP equipment, okay. using uh, equipment with heat, heat energy uh, recovery, using uh, ozone-friendly uh, refrigerant uh, for AC system. Also, uh, we can say using uh, water efficient uh, fixtures, wastewater uh, treated the, the wastewater treated the air and so on could you go more into the challenges that you faced during this project and how you overcame these challenges okay 
Uh, as you know, uh, uh, the main uh, challenge uh, when uh, you design and execute a healthcare facility is the uh, uh, ability to install the MEP services. There are a lot of MEP services in the, in the hospital, as you know. So uh, the, the main challenge is the uh, ceiling uh, void and the availability of uh, MEP services and rooms in the hospital. Uh, uh, the main challenge faced uh, uh, was appeared in the Al Abdali Medical Center because Al Abdali Medical Center uh, was built as a residential building. All right. And the, skele and the skeleton, uh, yeah, you, you know, the skeleton was built as a residential. So, and the client then uh, converted the, the function of the project to a hospital project. So the floor height is somehow small and uh, the clearance above fall ceiling uh, not adequate for uh, installing MAP services. So this is the main issue we faced. Uh, our solution here is uh, by uh, maybe put a lot of effort and a lot of uh, uh, hours working on coordination uh, plans with uh, other disciplines. Uh, this project uh, uh, used a latest and updated technology, uh, uh, such as uh, using, uh, for example, a very uh, updated uh, methods for air balancing mm. and air uh, pressurization. To ensure that the, to ensure the health environment inside the hospital, such as we use the Venturi valve yeah. uh, in these hospitals. Uh, also, uh, we are using, uh, as I said, the BIM technology. This is in the, uh, let's say, during the design and the, during the construction to prepare a uh, full coordinated design drawing and uh, full coordinated, uh, of course, uh, workshop drawing. Also, we use a new technology here in Jordan, is the chilled beam, using the chilled beam. Uh, because of the uh, difficulties in installing um, MEP services within the ceiling void in the Abdali Medical Center, uh, the design intent proposed using a chilled beam. And the chilled beam here in Jordan, this is, uh, uh, it's not used. And this is the first building in this scale, use the chilled beam. So there is uh, no experience using uh, chilled beam system, even in the, uh, from the contractor or from the uh, consultants and even from the supplier itself. So, so we made uh, a lot of effort uh, and calculations and investigation and research about using the, chilled beam uh, here in Jordan and if it's suitable with the climate of Jordan or not, especially that there is a problem with, with the condensation uh, of the chilled beam. So all these uh, 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 problems uh, we studied and uh, we uh, made uh, solutions. Uh, and, and now the, actually the, the project is in operation uh, about now one and a half year, and there is no problem, which is good, yeah, which is uh, satisfaction. Cooling and heating in the HVAC industry has been one of the largest energy consumers, if we can put it in a way, within a building. How has energy efficiency or sustainability been taken into account in these projects, especially in these large hospital projects? Yes. Uh, for the HVAC system, uh, Al Abdali Medical Center used a district cooling, right. while the Al Kindi and uh, Al Bashir is a traditional cooling uh, air, uh, using air cooled chillers and uh, heating boilers. Uh, the energy efficiency of this, we, we used uh, many things to reduce uh, the energy consumption. Uh, Especially that we know that Jordan is, ha, has a big problem with the energy. 
So we use, uh, for example, we use uh, air handling unit with heat recovery for all uh, air handling unit. We use uh, variable speed uh, pumps and variable speed fans. This is to reduce the fuel consumption. Uh, we use the VFD, uh, for example, chillers. This is also to reduce the energy consumption. Uh, otherwise, we use a good insulation, good insulation of the building and good insulation of the services, uh, spe especially the air duct and the uh, pipes, chilled water and heating pipes. These, all these uh, uh, items, can, uh, helps uh, to reduce the consumption of the energy. Wonderful. It was great talking to you, Hap. Thank you for your time. I look forward to catching up with you again sometime in the future on some other projects that you work on. Thank you very much. Thank you. For those of you watching, you know the drill. Feel free to share, comment, like, and subscribe for more such videos with experts in the industry. That's all for now, and until next time, goodbye.